if you want to increase your shooting power and accuracy, these are some soccer shooting drills for beginners. I'm going to give you some soccer shooting drills for beginners. But before we get into the actual drills, I just want to talk about shooting technique. Give you if you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. But think about the technique. The more you focus on the technique, how to improve the technique, the better you'll get in a shorter period of time. So, basic shooting technique. Let's just focus on laces today. I'm trying to make strong contact with the center of the ball. Flexed foot, hard foot, toes down, ankle locked. Leg flex, calf flex, quad flex. Body tense for that half a second where you make contact. If you're limp in any way, if I hit this ball and my ankle goes limp like that, weak shot. If my leg is not nice and strong, weak shot. If my body, my upper body is out of control at all, weak shot. We're un out of control shot. Okay, so focus on when, you, when you're striking the ball, tighten up. I'm not saying like flex and get really, really tense, but you have to control your body. Tighten everything up for that half second where you make contact with the ball. Okay, just focusing on tightening up the legs, tightening up the technique of the foot, pausing, keeping your upper body nice and still, not leaning back. When you hit it, you don't lose control. You fall over one way. That's gonna make your shot better right away. Okay, but come back to the foot technique. I'm trying to strike, depending on where I'm going. Hey, what's up? I hope you're finding this content helpful. Watch this all the way to the end if you wanna find out which subscriber got this video's special shout out. Hitting a straight shot, and let's just focus on that today, hitting a straight shot with the laces. I'm trying to meet the center of the bowl with a strong flex foot. As I said, if I hit there and then this ankle goes weak, my shot's gonna have a lot of backspin. It's just gonna go nice into the keeper's hands, really soft shot. If you're keeping that flexed through the ball as you make contact, as you make contact, it's still flexed. Watch your foot, what it does after you hit the ball. Do you keep that ankle flexion, that leg flexion through the ball? It's so important. After you make contact, push through the ball with that firm technique. Okay, the other thing I wanna talk about today these are all the tips I'll give you for shooting today, is the follow through. If I want my shot to go straight, my foot, my body needs to go straight. If you hit a shot and it goes off to the side, okay, it's either where you hit the ball. So if I hit the ball here, it's likely to go here. If I hit it here, it's likely to go there. But if I fall through, even if I hit it straight in the middle, but if I follow through across my body, that's where the shot's gonna go. So analyze your follow through. <clears throat> Can you make it go straight? If you hit it straight, that ball will go straight. If you hit across, the ball will go across. Your technique will never lie to you. So every shot, when you're practicing, analyze your technique, see if you can do a little bit better each time. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the Online Soccer Academy. Let us do some soccer shooting drills. We're going to focus on everything we talked about with technique. I'm going to use a wall. Wall is extremely valuable when you're practicing shooting, especially for a beginner, unless you have 20 balls. If you have to hit it in the net, as I've said before, hit it in the net, run and get your ball, run and go back, do it again. You're not getting as many repetitions as striking on the wall. It's back already. Another shot, another rep, more reps, better skills. So I'm going to use a wall. And the way I would start is take your shot, take as many touches as you need to set yourself for another shot. Okay, now when I'm shooting, especially as a beginner. This distance is not very far. And I am not focused on blasting the ball as hard as I can. What I want to do is get good technique on the ball every time. If I can make that ball go straight, hit the wall, come back to me so I don't have to run everywhere, 
you're succeeding as a beginner because you're getting more repetitions. So don't worry about the power. The power comes from good technique. If you can improve your technique, your power will come naturally. You'll improve your power very quickly. So first one, take as many touches as you need to set yourself for a shot. Playing with both feet from the beginning. If I didn't like my strike on one side, I'll go again. Okay, and I wanna follow through a bit more. I keep pulling. What I'm trying to fix in my head on my left is when I hit it, I'm pulling myself to the right. I'm not going forward. So oftentimes I'll pull that shot. What I need to practice is moving that way with my fall through forward, not dragging across. That's what I'm trying to fix there. First one, open touch. Second one, two touch. So take your shot, good technique. Now you have one touch to set yourself for the next shot. One touch to get it out of your feet and strike it. So if my first touch is not good enough in a game, I'm not gonna be able to get my shots off. That ball's coming to you, you wanna score, but you're already thinking about shooting. You didn't even think about setting yourself. So when that ball's coming to you, focus on this touch, so important. Get out of your feet so you can get the strike that you want on it. Okay, so two touch. The next shooting drill I'll do is one time shooting. First time. So as that ball's coming to me, I don't have any touches to set it. I have to strike it and I have to make it go forward straight. Because if you're playing one time shots and you're not making the ball go straight, you're not gonna be able to keep the rhythm. You're gonna have to run over there, run over there. So focus on hitting center of the ball, contact right in the middle of the ball. Because if I hit it on the side, it's gonna pull there. If I hit it on this side, it's gonna pull there. And I'm not gonna be able to do this drill. Start with a small distance. Again, don't worry about power. Focus on good technique. The purer my technique is, the sharper my technique is, the better the power will be, and this will transform, transfer to every style of shooting. Okay, so it seems like I'm not hitting the ball hard. I'm not, I'm just focusing on making good contact. So when I do wanna add the power, I have that technique there, that firm foot through the center of the ball. Okay, the other thing with this one is extremely important is my footwork leading up to the shot. So when I strike the ball, if I'm flat footed here, to hit a one timer with good technique, very difficult. So what I wanna do when I'm playing one time is focus on my movement as much as my shot. Okay, setting myself, contact. Let's do a better demo. Okay, contact's there. Fall through four, forward. Okay, and if it bounces up on you, react to it. But it's the sharpness of the feet. It's the quickness of the feet, getting where I need to be with my body on the ball. If you are not moving your feet quickly and you're lunging for shots, it's gonna be difficult to have good shots. Another drill you can do is shooting after a skill or shooting off a dribble. So you could have a cone here, but let's say a little bit of skill and now take your shot better Better demo than that, please. Okay, go again. Little bit of skill. So dribbling, change of direction, getting your shot off. And we don't like it pulling there, so I'm gonna fix it again. There we go, good. Last one I'll demo today is shooting off a turn. So a lot of times in a game, maybe you're in front of goal, playing as a striker, the net's this way, but I receive the ball this way. Maybe I don't have anyone to lay the ball off to for them to take a shot. Or I just know ahead of time, I wanna get into this space before that ball comes to me. So as that ball's coming, I have to practice turning, striking, because you'll find this is a different skill than just shooting straight forward. So it's coming off the turn, control the body and strike. But I would start like that. Play here, boom. And what will happen 
when you're doing that is the tendency is here, overcompensate, and you end up there. So really focus on getting your shot going straight towards the goal. So again, here, focus on straight. Yes. Quick turn. And I want better contact on my right. These are some soccer shooting drills for beginners. This is the featured subscriber for this video. If you'd like to be featured in future videos, hit that like button, drop a comment below, and let me know how my content has helped you improve as a player. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the online Soccer Academy.